everyone. My name is Pastor Iketukutinidu and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today we shall be engaging in prayer for family deliverance. Prayer for family deliverance. I trust God that no matter the challenge of the devil in your family, you shall be delivered by this prayer for family deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't care how much the devil has dominated your family. By the time we are through with this prayer, every hand of Satan in your family shall be cut off and consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you to open your heart and engage your faith as we pray these prayers this day in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe. This is a Fire for Fire prayer channel where we engage in prayers that will change your destiny. If you want your spiritual life to be on fire, hit the subscribe button and be part of what God is doing in our lives. Praise the Lord. Today we are engaging in prayer for family deliverance. I want, to, I want us to read the book of Acts chapter 16 from verse 31. Now in verse 31, Paul and Silas were speaking to the jailer. They said, and they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. Praise the Lord. Now, this prayer for family deliverance is targeted at families that are passing through different challenges. There are many families today that are struggling with one challenge or the other. It could be poverty, it could be barrenness, it could be disappointments, it could be some ancestral hold, backwardness, stagnation. It could even be marital unrest. There are many families today suffering from one issue or the other. It could even be sicknesses and diseases. These are problems in families that are rooted from the pit of hell. But today, you shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. You see, the, the truth about the matter is this. The devil attacks the family system. The devil attacks the family system. And those attacks come from either foundational spirits, the spirit from the father's house, praise the Lord, ancestral forces, or it could be from household enemies, household enemies, enemies within the house looking for how to frustrate the effort of families. There are some families that are struggling with barrenness. There are some families that are struggling with poverty. There are some families that no matter what they do, they remain in the same spot. There are some families that their own is sicknesses and disease has ravaged their economy. Praise the Lord. Every day one sickness, every day the other. Every day one sickness, every day the other. But thank God for God. No matter what your family is facing, the God of heaven shall deliver you today in the name of Jesus. Prayer is the key for you to break free and be delivered, you and your family. You must be a man or woman of prayer. You must be what? A man or woman of prayer. You must be a man or one of prayer. The only thing the devil recognizes is force. If you do not resist the devil, the devil does not go anywhere. If you do not resist the devil, the devil does not go anywhere. For example, as a man, when you marry, as a woman, when you marry a man, you are entering his family. And there, if there are challenges in the man's lineage, you have inherited it. The same with a woman. The same with a woman. Every family, there is always a devil attacking every family. The reason why some families are making progress is because they have been able to conquer their own devil. They have been able to conquer their own devil. There is no family that does not have a challenge. There is no family on earth that does not have a challenge. Abraham's challenge with his family was barrenness. Praise the Lord. Was barrenness. The, the challenge of Jacob was that he was not settled. Everywhere he goes, disappointment, disappointment, disappointment. Until he wrestled with God in prayers. Until he wrestled with God in prayers. Every family have their own challenge. There is no family that is without challenge. And any family that must overcome is the one that will engage the force of violent faith through prayers. That is why I encourage you, if you want to break out of that family problem, if you want to be delivered in your family, then you must be a man and woman of prayer. Not just prayer, prayer with violent faith. Prayer with what? Violent faith. Violent faith. Praise the Lord. You see, this prayer for family deliverance is to invoke the fire of God 
against all strongholds, all strange authors, and every strong man that has held you and your family captive and to deliver you just as God delivered the children of Israel from Pharaoh. So this prayer is to what? Deliver you from every stronghold of the devil. It's to deliver you from every evil altar speaking against your family. It's to deliver you from every strong man holding your family captive and saying nobody will make it in this family. There are some families that no, they have, there is a curse on that family that no one can ever be rich. There are some families that no one can ever live beyond the age of 40. There are some families that are ravaged with strange causes, strange strongholds holding them. No matter they are hustling, no matter they are struggling, they will always remain stagnant. There are some that the women are already caused not to be married. No matter how beautiful and pretty and attractive they are, they will never get married. They will all be giving birth in the house. It's a family stronghold. There are some that no matter what, they will get married, but they will end up divorcing and coming back to their parents' house. You know, different strange powers holding families down. But today, your deliverance is sure in the name of Jesus. Your deliverance is sure in the name of Jesus. Now, how do I become free from family bondage? Number one, you must give your life to Christ. You must be born again. Jesus said in John 3 that you must be born again. You must. It is not optional. Because God will only deliver his own. It is only his own that can be delivered. The prodigal son ran away. When he was out of the house, he was suffering. He was dying. The father was still alive, but he was dying. Until he came to himself, and he was only delivered when he came back home. He was only rescued from poverty and untimely death when he came back home. So it is until you come back home by giving your life to Jesus. Number, that's the first step of your deliverance. And number two, you must be committed in your service to God. Don't be one leg in, one leg out. I normally tell people, deliverance is not instant. Deliverance is continuous. It doesn't matter. Even if you go to meet a man of God and he casts out devils in your life, that devil will come back again. The devil may leave because the power of the man of God engaged faith in the name of Jesus and the demons left you and you begin to see changes in your life. But you see, if you are not consistent in your service to God, that devil will come back again. And this time around, your situation may be worse. That is why you see people, they say they go from church to church for deliverance. And yet they look as if the same thing is repeating itself. It's not because the deliverances are not working or the pastor's prayers are not working. No, it's because they themselves are not sustaining the deliverance by their commitment to God. You must born again. You must take serving God seriously. You must be prayerful. You must study the word of God. You must be constant in your church. You must be committed. You must live like Christ. You must grow in your salvation. Grow in your salvation. Grow in your faith. So that you'll be consistently on fire for God. No room for the devil. No room for the devil. And number three, you must be prayerful. You must be prayerful. Luke 18 verse 1. He said, men ought to pray always and not faint. Men ought to pray always and not faint. You must continually resist the devil. You must continually resist the devil. You must be a man or woman of prayer. That is why subscribing to a channel like this will help your destiny. Because sometimes you need a prayer partner. So by the time we are praying together every day, every week, your spiritual life is on fire. Praise the Lord. You need to be prayerful because it is when you keep praying, you keep sanitizing your environment and fortifying yourself spiritually. Satan will give up on you. Satan will give up on you. That shall be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. That shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So when you are born again, and what? You are committed in serving God. And number three, you are giving to prayers. You are a praying Christian. Your deliverance becomes inevitable. And when it comes, it will last forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I, I believe you are ready to pray this morning. I believe that you are set to pray. You are set to pray. As we begin to pray, we are going to be praying 10 prayers, 10 powerful prayers for family deliverance. As we begin to pray, these prayers will deliver you and your family members in the name of Jesus. I encourage you to pray these prayers not only on your own. Pray them together with your family members. Pray them with your family members and you shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. Are we set to pray right now? Are we set to pray right now? Prayer one. Prayer one. Father, 
In the name of Jesus, I thank you for the salvation of my soul today. Lift up your voice and begin to thank the Lord for the salvation of your soul. Begin to thank him. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for the salvation of my soul today. Thank him. Thank him. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the salvation of my soul. Father, I thank you for the salvation of my soul today. Lord, I give you praise for the salvation of my soul. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Father, for the salvation of my soul. I thank you, Lord, for the salvation of my soul today. Thank you, Jesus, for the salvation of my soul. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer too. Father, I thank you for... Because I know, Father, I thank you for because I know that before I pray these prayers, you have already had me. I appreciate the Lord because you know he has answered you already even before you start praying. Father, I thank you for your word said, why they are yet praying, I shall answer. Thank you for I know that before I even begin to pray these prayers, I know that my answers are sure. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. I appreciate him once again because you know that every prayer you shall pray tonight, the Lord shall answer you. Lord, I give you thanks. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Prayer three. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for fighting and winning my battles, the battles of my family, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for fighting and winning the battles of my family, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, I thank you for fighting and winning the battles of my family, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for fighting and winning the battles of my family. Father, I thank you for fighting and winning the battles of my family. Father, I thank you, Lord, for fighting and for winning the battles of my family. Lord, I give you praise for fighting and for winning the battles of my family. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Prayer for I deliver my family from every household bondage in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that prayer. I deliver my family from every household bondage in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, Father. I deliver my family from every fa household bondage in the name of Jesus. Father, I deliver my family from every household bondage in the name of Jesus. I deliver my family from every household bondage in the name of Jesus. I deliver my family from every household bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer 5. Father, I deliver my family from the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that prayer. I deliver my family from the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. I deliver my family from the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. I deliver my family from the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. I deliver my family from the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. Father, I deliver my family from the spirit of poverty in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer 6. I deliver my family from the spirit of stagnation, disappointment, and backwardness. Lift up your voice and begin to pray that prayer. I deliver my family from the spirit of stagnation, disappointment, and backwardness. In the name of Jesus, Father, I deliver my family from the spirit of stagnation, disappointment, and backwardness. Father, I deliver my family from the spirit of stagnation, disappointment, and backwardness. Father, I deliver my family now from the spirit of stagnation, disappointment, and backwardness. I deliver my family now from the spirit of stagnation, disappointment, and backwardness. I deliver my family now from the spirit of stagnation, disappointment, and backwardness in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer 7. Father, just as the angel of the Lord rolled away the stone and Jesus came out from the grave, let your angel roll away every stone blocking the destiny of my family's progress in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, as the angel of the Lord rolled away the stone in the tomb of Jesus and Jesus came out, Lord, let your angels roll away every stone standing blocking the, the destiny of my family in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Lord, let your angels roll away every stone blocking the destiny and the progress of my family. Let your angels roll away every stone blocking the progress 
and the destiny of my family members. Lord, let your angel roll away every stone blocking the destiny and the progress of my family. Let your angel roll away every stone blocking the destiny and the progress of my family. Lord, let your angels roll away every stone blocking the destiny and the progress of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I release confusion and destruction even into the camp of every enemy of my family. In the name of Jesus, begin to release confusion and destruction. Father, I release confusion and destruction into the camp of every enemy of my family. Father, I release uh, confusion and destruction into the camp of every enemy of my family. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release confusion and destruction into the camp of every enemy of my family. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release confusion and destruction into the camp of every enemy of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, prayer nine. Let everyone that wish my family evil receive evil a hundredfold. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, let everyone that wish my family evil, let evil return to them a hundredfold. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, let everyone that is desiring the downfall of my family, let them reap what they sow. Let everyone that is desiring evil over my family, let evil locate them. Let everyone that desire my family to go down, let going down be their portion. Pray that prayer right now. Everyone desiring evil of my family, Lord, let evil return back to them a hundredfold. Let evil return back to them a hundredfold. Let them reap a harvest of what they are de desiring for my family. In the name of Jesus, everyone that wish my family dead, let death be their portion. Everyone that wish my family poverty, let poverty be their portion. Begin to return it back to them a hundredfold. A hundredfold. Everyone wishing my family evil, evil shall be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil shall be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer 10, begin to decree your family blessed. I declare my family is blessed in the name of Jesus. My family is delivered in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against my family shall prosper. Begin to say that concerning your family. We are blessed. We are delivered. We are set free. We are set free. We are set free. We are set free in the name of Jesus. We are blessed. We are delivered. We are set free forever in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want to congratulate you because I believe that God has visited your family. Your family is blessed. Your family is delivered. In the name of Jesus, anyone that tries to harm your family shall be harmed by your God. Anyone that blesses your family is blessed. Anyone that causes your family is cursed by God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I want you to be subscribed to be part of what God is doing in this channel. Join us and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Also, if you want to get these prayers, visit the subscription section, the, the description section of this video. You get the videos in the name. You are blessed in Jesus' name. So you can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and any of the social media network you see on the screen. And also visit our website, Everyday Prayer Guide, and you'll be blessed by prayers addressing hundreds of thousands of issues that will bless your life in jesus name amen so i, I still remain pastor Ekechuk, which room, your host at everydayprayerguide.com remain blessed your family is blessed in jesus name amen god bless you